Hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good whatever time you're watching this. My name is Mobid. And I'm doing this video from Kenya, Africa. Please consider subscribing, liking this video, and commenting after watching it. If you're enjoying this content, I'm also happy that you are enjoying. And who? So there are people who go and check my page on Facebook. I have a page on Facebook that is close to 20,000 uh, likes. And if you see that page here, please go and like it. I post most of my work there. It has been a page that has fed me for for years. And there are people, uh, especially the young people who have completed from TVET institutions and even universities, who look at that page and who don't know the person behind it and they could be thinking this person is really doing well and he has a lot of work, jobs that he can give me <coughs> so they DM me or they even see my number there or my email and write to me asking for work <coughs> now asking for work is not a bad thing uh, all of us have done it before looking for jobs, we even do it uh, as we get uh, clients but I want to tell you there are skills that if you practice and learn them they can help you in the construction world to make more money besides having your degree or certificate or diploma from a university and don't uh, look down upon this kind of uh, work I have worked as a handman even with my papers for uh, masons or uh, tile fixers or even uh, steel fixers in fact there's a time uh, i was really down and i went for this tile um, uh, steel fixer and they gave me job to cut for them the rings you know the rings that i put on um, uh, things like this these are the rings I don't know that you can see so i was cutting for for them now the style the, the steel fixers the rings and i did that the whole day by the time i left there my hand was full of blisters it has started it has started blowing it's like it's going to rain if you, you can see how the weather looks it's like it's going to rain and who now these are skills if you have them or practice them Papers aside, can help you to make money as you grow, if, even to become a contractor or somebody big in the construction field. Number one, and I like this, is tile fixing. Now, tiles, you know, tiles are paid per square meter or per square foot. And if you do uh, uh, get a good, like, this building which has more than six one bedrooms with more than I don't know the size but I uh, um, it, it's a big size it's something that if you know how to do tiles well and you get such a job and I, I had said in the previous video how to make good money as a contractor is by doing quality work in a short time now if you are paid per foot per foot doing tile fixing and the um, normal rate is around like 25 shillings per foot and let's say let's say if you try hard and do like 500 pieces of uh, 500 feet let me say it's 500 feet per, per day you as a the tile fixer 500 times 25 you find like you have made more than 10,000 uh, I can't calculate that now but roughly you have made like 10,000 per day and it's very possible there are those even who do a thousand uh, a thousand feet per day anyway I'm just imagining but 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 you can do a good a good a good a good quantity of uh, uh, feet per day so you can be asking me how can I learn uh, how to do this when you have an ambition to do something you don't just wait for it to come to you you go you 
can go out and find uh, there are very many even in um, uh, uh, buildings that are being built don't fear going there to ask for work it doesn't mean that your papers are not uh, um, good that you can't be employed as a clerk of work or foreman but if you finish school and you're only looking to become a foreman or clerk of work or uh, a big engineer usually you might not get that job that fast you must you must start somewhere so look for um, uh, the people the experts who are doing this ask them for jobs tell them you want to learn and these things like tile fixing doesn't need very many equipment in, in installing you need like a, a throw well mason hammer and a spirit level that long spirit level and i think this uh, equipment don't cost much then the second job or skill you can learn in construction that can really help you make money is steel fixing steel fixing is um, doing steel like this one uh, where you can you can see the the d bars for uh, columns and even slab this is something you can also learn and it's also um, uh, quantified per project depending on the number of uh, uh, bars that are being used there and their sizes. Now this one, if, if you know the theory part of quantifying, you have come from the university or technical uh, training institute and you know how these things are done, then you know how to calculate, you can, you know, calculate uh, uh, per that project and ask for good money and you can do it in one day like these columns when we did these columns we did them in one day and the person had given that job made a lot of money in one day did all the columns fixed did all those rings installed them and left and it was paid that's the second uh, skill you can learn the third skill which is which is also um, not bad and it pays a lot of people is painting now painting uh, if you get a if you get a good project like this one this one where I am when it's over it's a, a, an apartment of one bedrooms there are six one bedrooms per floor and it's going four floors up there are, and then the ground floor so those are five floors if you are to paint in and out and everything it's a good deal that if you get it and you know how to paint you'll make good money quality work within a short time you don't drag the job then the now we are the fourth the fourth which is something that I also love you can specialize in doing kitchen cabinets and wardrobes not another carpentry work kitchen cabinets and the wardrobes only that you don't do the ceiling you don't do like doors and all those other things only those and there are people i know who only do that they do kitchen cabinets they do um uh, wardrobes and they are busy they are busy their schedule is tight they have jobs you can find a person who does that. You look for them, you learn, and if you are a person who learns very fast, you can learn that one in a very short time, and it's also quantified uh, per project uh, with negotiation, and you can make uh, good money if you uh, get this skill, and you know. Then there's another skill now, which started not long ago and it's my favorite right now now this is the fifth skill my favorite my best i wish i could even uh, learn it now but <laughs> it feels like it's too late for me and who now there's modeling right now people love uh, their houses especially on the windows columns uh, doors 
outside the skirting the um, keys being molded you know you do some artistry on a house um, you know it doesn't need much it's just a skill of artistry if you feel like you know you are so creative in doing these things you can learn that skill or you can even you know invent it because uh, some of the things i see in um, in modeling is just knowing some basic masonry uh, doing masonry like small plastering here and there then making some uh, uh, equipment for yourself because some of them are just made to do the the, the molding and these people who do molding uh, really make a lot of money and I know you can attest to this if you have seen people are doing molding uh, molding outside here, molding of columns, molding of uh, uh, the keys and windows around windows and you know scatting and all those things so if you can learn that skill bro or seize you can make a lot of money and I'm encouraging girls please ladies building work mason work and all these things is not only for men nobody has stopped you from uh, uh, doing this if you love it don't fear that you'll be judged i have given women work and in fact they're the best when 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 when, when they are put their time to eat so if you are a girl and you are watching this and you are uh, passionate ab about you know building you can be a tile fixer you can paint you can do even this molding i'm talking about you can even do wardrobes what you can do it man don't fear so that is the fifth uh, skill then the sixth skill which is also not bad it's good i also like it you can learn how to do gypsum right now very many people are also installing uh, gypsum uh, gypsum is not a, a bad uh, thing it, it's very aesthetic it makes the houses look beautiful and in gypsum uh, right now many places install gypsum including uh, like banks um, clubs you know hotels so you can learn this skill the skill of uh, doing gypsum besides doing for people in their houses you can also do for uh, big corporates like banks and uh, and and, and, and uh, uh, hotels, uh, you know, restaurants and uh, even salons, you know, barber shops. There are very many places that need people are installing gypsum and are good at it. And when you know how to do these things, you don't just do and you know wait for the job to look for you. Use the social media, TikTok, even YouTube. Even I've met very many people from YouTube, from TikTok that have given work because they have posted their work and it looks very quality, nice, good, and I give them work. So if you learn this skill, you know, by going to a person who does it and you even volunteer because you want to learn, you will also feel shy after you have helped him do work, you know, and they will pay you a little, but for you, you are there to learn and you, you will not spend a, a lot in learning. Because somebody will say, how can I work for somebody for free just because I want to learn? But how long will you be with that person? Instead of staying at home and sitting and sending CVs and, uh, you know, emails, you can go in one month or two months if you get a person who is doing like tiles, as I said, or gypsum, one month, two months, you have known how to do these things and you buy your own equipment. Then you start looking for, for jobs. And it's real good paying. I know this. There are people who have gone to greater heights now. They are very big contractors, but they started from painting. They started from tile fixing. They started from, you know, doing even sealing the ordinary sealing, uh, like chipboard or something like that. And now they have grown. They have even bought big uh, vehicles. They are traveling with outside here. Now that's the sixth skill. The seventh skill seventh skill uh, is a skill many people uh, um, look down upon but it has also money and 
now this is landscaping now landscaping is now doing the outside you know of the house now a person has built a house a very nice house it's well done inside the interior is looking awesome you know the floor tiles are done nice the ceiling awesome roof painting but now the outside is not appealing and he wants a person to come and plant uh, you know do things like plant uh, grass uh, flowers uh, paving and you know all those things there's something if you are creative if you have been doing this you know there are people who have been doing it since they were young and they have been planting flowers and arranging and you know their home where they come from looks nice and they think it's just doing it for their home but you can do it you can do it for other people and there are very many people right now who need landscapers they build a very nice house but how the outside looks it's very you know not so good and they want somebody to come and arrange clean then plant grass plant flowers show pavings where they can be put and what have you do cabros you know all those things and, and that comes to my uh, it's is it eighth eighth uh, skill which is doing cabros there are people who only do cabros and the cabros are very easy to install you also uh, need very few tools to do it uh, and um, knowing how to set levels so that if you are inclining or if you are you know rising up going down you know how to put so that you know it doesn't look like um, it's badly installed so you can learn it i don't know how to install uh, cabros but i've given somebody a contract to do it and i've seen how they do it i, I did not see like it's uh, something difficult it's something that uh, if you can learn you can only learn it in weeks in less than a month you can learn how to do cabros and you know you are done and you start looking for work so there are very many skills you can learn i've only given i think seven i've only given seven but there are many there are many that you can you can learn you can learn how to do even interior design you know even um uh, carpentry on how to do even beds and uh, those other things within the construction uh, field there are very many things you, you you can learn you can learn how to do you can learn how to do and, and, and still survive you can even run uh, learn how to do masonry work like building these blocks uh, doing uh, even uh, you know um, what what can you do there are very many things, there are very many things, there are very many things uh, that you can do in, in the construction field. So before you ask for that like white collar job in a construction um, uh, in a construction field like you have come from the university, you have, been, you have done uh, building technology, uh, you want to be a foreman already, you want to be site engineer, you want to be site supervisor, you want to be a clerk of works it doesn't work that way brother and even if you do that you know you'll be a slave of the contractor who will employ you because if you are employed by a company it pays you 40,000 50,000 60,000 per month my brother my sister it's not a bad thing to start with but if if you even get that job don't just be a foreman on, on the site just supervising people to work you can learn you can learn how they are fixing the the, the, the tiles next you look for your, your own contracts subcontracts on how to do this you can learn how they are painting how they are doing these things and next you ask you ask for a subcontract somewhere and you quit that job and you become your own boss next you are the one employing people next you are the one becoming you know the big contractor and doing big things you know we're here to help each other I hope this video has helped someone to decide to skill up and get jobs. Please like this video, subscribe, comment. You can also comment down here which skill you think is also good in the construction site.
that somebody can learn and it can help him make money. Thank you.